I'm checking on Money Matters. The housing market in Jacksonville started off the year strong. And another tax holiday gaining steam here in the Sunshine State. Jane King is joining us now live from the NASDAQ with those stories and more in this morning's Money Matters report. Good morning to you, Jane. So Jacksonville's housing sales, well, at least in January, they suggest a strong year. Good news. Yes, year-over-year uh, -year comparisons indicate a stronger beginning to 2016 than 2015, with almost every statistic favoring the sellers. Now, this is according to the Northeast Florida Association of Realtors. Year-over-year, -year, the average January sales price was up about 11 Seven percent compared to last year. Some encouraging news in the housing market. Some discouraging news when it comes to solar jobs in the Sunshine State. Yes, employment in solar power grew in Florida last year. About 6,500 jobs were created. That's according to a new trade group study. That growth ranked the Sunshine State number eight in the U.S. But the Solar Foundation is projecting a much slower year this year, and that slower growth, it says, is due in part to the fact the state does not allow third-party ownership. And talking about our state, certainly we love the tax holidays, particularly as the kids head back to school. But the small business Saturday holiday is kind of finding some support in the Florida Senate, it sounds like. It is. The measure would apply to small businesses on November 26th. It's a Small Business Saturday, the Saturday after Thanksgiving every year. It's one of the busiest shopping times of the year. So if this passes, customers would not have to pay taxes on the first thousand dollars in purchases. The Senate seems to like the idea, but a few more hoops to jump through before it's uh, actually created this year. And what's this about men shopping more like women? <laughs> we, we start asking, does this make my hips look big? Why? <laughs> <laughs> well, men shopping... Yes, uh, shopping habits starting to look more like women's. According to the Wall Street Journal, they say men are spending more time in stores. They're also spending more money when they get there. They're also shopping online, mobile more. And the source of notices, they're adding grooming products and things like headphones by the checkout counter. So don't be surprised to see that. So now my husband can't complain when I go shopping. He's just as bad. <laughs> exactly. No, he can still complain. <laughs> 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 but I can ignore him more. I'm like, well, you bought that. <laughs> it's called a double standard. Right. Uh, that's right. <laughs> Thank you, Jane. <laughs> Bye, Thank you. Jane.